Hello travelers and welcome to a new video. I'm at this cafe, it is called the Vita Cafe. And we are on Novi's Fiat another time. They have these punchkis here, ponchak in Polish. I've never had this one before. This one looks very cool, it is a rose one. So it is rose, I guess they make it with the rose petals. I'm not sure exactly, they extract something from the rose. And it also has some orange on top, like orange peel or something, so. Take a look, there it is. That is very interesting, they call it rose. So it looks almost like a raspberry filling with the orange on top, but they say it is rose. It was around seven zwote, so very, very cheap item. It is less than $2, probably $1.70, something like that. The filling tastes almost like a fruit. I don't really get the rose taste. Of course, I've never eaten a rose, so I don't know exactly what they do. Maybe some fruit with um, adding some rose to it, but I get the orange on top, and it's very nice. You get that orange aftertaste. Wow, that is so nice. Or when you're biting into it, so you get the fruit, you get the punch key, and then you get this orange on top. Let me just try the filling here. So there's the filling, they say it's a rose. Maybe someone can tell me exactly how they make this. So it's very subtle. It's very subtle, it tastes almost like a fruit but it's a very subtle taste. But it's quite nice. This one is absolutely delicious, it has so many flavors going on. I love the orange taste on top, she said you could get it without. But I love the orange taste, wow. So you get the, the sweet from the punch key or the punchak. You get that nice dough there. Some glaze on top. You get that little bit of a fruit taste from the rose and then you get that orange taste. Wow, and that lingers in your mouth and it's so tasty. It tastes like a fresh orange. There's nothing like having a fresh punch key in Poland. So delicious. Look at that. Wow. Mm. Absolutely incredible flavor and they had a lot of different types of punchki here or punchak they had a great variety inside in fact I'm gonna go and try to show you the variety they had now okay you're welcome so here are the, all the punchkis they have strawberry you can also see the Polish name Kinder Bueno which is this chocolate treat from Spain, I think. Visnia is cherry. Caramel, salted caramel. And here's the one I had, the rose. And they also have a plain one. Okay, so those girls in there, they were very kind. I was asking about it, is it a flower? So it's not a flower at all. It's rose hip in English, so it's a type of fruit. It's hard to see here, but it's basically, they call it rose hip or rose hip. Also called rose haw and rose hep. It's the accessory fruit of various species of rose plant. So I guess it's the, the fruit that the rose plant bears are certain rose plants. So that is quite interesting. I learned something here. So it's actually a type of fruit from a rose plant. Later in the day now, and I, after I had that punchki, or that ponchak, now I'm here, I'm gonna have some pierogi. And I'm in a place that is called Koshiniac. Koski pierogi. Probably said it wrong, but <laughs> so another pierogi place. We have some other food here. Potato pancakes with pork, goulash with peppers. So they had quite a few choices on the menu. They even had that soup and a bread bowl. They had so many choices. They had a lot of different dishes. So I ended up with pierogi, but I got four different kind of pierogi. So you have to order at least eight. You can actually go individually. So I got four different kinds, two of each. We're gonna try them out. So you see what I had for breakfast and for lunch. There was this uh, Spanish family that were just next to me and I was talking to them and the one girl is from Malaga even. Hello. <laughs> so we were talking and uh, the, the son, he's studying here in Warsaw, Poland. So very, very cool. They were great people. The parents were from Guadalajara. I don't know that, but they said it's near Madrid. 
think it's his girlfriend or the sister, I'm not sure, but he's, she is from Malaga. So how about that, guys, where I used to live? So my pierogies are here. They look fantastic. I ordered it with sour cream. You could actually get different toppings, I guess, for dipping. She said you could have got bacon, sour cream, or something else. I forgot what the other one was. So I have my elixir here. That's what she called it. I told her hot that it came cold, but that's fine. So it's supposed to have hibiscus. Looks like it has orange in it. Maybe lemon. So that should be quite healthy. Let's give this a try. It's quite nice, very fruity. Like a fruit drink. I'm sure it's quite fresh. Let's get into this pierogi now, wow. And I have four different kinds. And you can get them boiled or fried. I decided to get them fried. I like that nice color. I think they're lightly pan fried. If I cut into this one, it's some kind of meat. I ordered meat and pork. So it could either be the meat or the pork. I'm gonna try it just like this and then I'm gonna try it with the sour cream. Looks quite nice. I love the color on there, the color on the outside. Look at that. Let's go ahead. Mm. It's quite good. That is very tasty. I think I like them fried better. It has a little better taste. I think the ones the other day I had were boiled. They were still quite good. I think these are probably better though. This one looks like it has cabbage maybe. Maybe cabbage and meat. Let me try it in the sour cream. Let's see if it's better with the sour cream. They have such a nice flavor. This is a really good place. I think I really like it. I think it was good with the sour cream. See, good either way, honestly. <laughs> There's another meat one here. Let me try this one. Mm. 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 That one is quite nice. I think that might be the pork one. So nice. Look at that. No, I think this is actually the beef. I think this is the beef with this paprika, with the spicy paprika. That's what I think it is. It's a little bit hard to eat in film, but I'm doing my best. That one's the best so far. I like that one a lot. These pierogies are quite large. You can see they're quite large. They're much bigger than the ones I had the other day. So even though there's eight, that is a good amount of food here. You're not gonna go hungry at all. And the price, I think it is around, you have to see it, probably around 32 zwote. So that is seven, seven something dollars, maybe close to eight dollars. So not bad, seven and a half to eight dollars range. Pretty good for a nice meal. This one looks like it has mushroom in it. I ordered, I ordered one with mushroom. I thought it was mushroom and cabbage. Maybe they got the order mixed up a little bit. It's okay. It looks quite nice. Oh yeah, they're good. I know I ordered a spinach one. I haven't got to that one yet. So this one definitely has a sauerkraut in it. Let's try this one with the sauerkraut. Mm. It's quite nice, quite nice too. They have a lot of foreign customers here. I can hear a lot of English here. So I don't know if that's good or not, but the pierogies are quite good. I think they're quite good. And I'll tell you what, I've fallen in love with pierogies. Thank you, Poland. Thank you, Poland, so much for this delicious food. Pierogi is probably my favorite dish from Poland. It's also the most famous, and you know why. They are so good, filling, delicious, and not too expensive either. Whoa, they're going quick. There's only two left. <laughs> you know I love these things. I think these might be the spinach. They have a little bit of a green color. I think this is a spinach and cheese. And I had the spinach one before and it was full of spinach. So this seems like a different style here. Mm. Pretty good. They have a very good marketing tool here, guys. I'll have to give it to them. She wanted me to go on Google. And they even had like the QR code. 
and you could leave a review. I left, and she even tapped the button five star, and then you were gonna get this free, so a magnet. But that's sure a good way to keep up five star reviews on their pierogies. I think it was good. I think it was close to five. Maybe it was four and a half, something like that. But it was really good. It was quite good. Just a cute little keepsake. I'll have this. I guess I can give it to my family, hopefully. It is cute. Sorry? How do you pronounce the name of the place? Goshinets. Goshinets. Okay, so the name of the place is Goshinets. Right here in Poland, in Warsaw. Okay, so it was very good. Enjoyed it. And you see it's full of people here. So I actually met a US couple. I was walking out, she saw me with the camera. The guy did, he said, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> and they were from Wisconsin. Hey, and I give you a shout out, my buddy, Adventure Elliot. I told him that I have a friend that's a YouTuber from Wisconsin. So here's the place from the outside. So you saw me have punchki, and you saw me have pierogi. So the two peas today, <laughs> both were very nice. Today is the Constitution Day in Warsaw or in Poland, I guess. So a lot of people are out, you can see it. A lot of people happy and eating out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. A travel addict guy. Take care of you one.